close it open for Faf. Faf, was that quite a difficult wicket, both bat and bowler? Um, I think it's initially when you come into bat, it's uh, not the easiest to score because it's quite slow. Um, you know, generally the Wanderers offers you a bit of pace and bounce, but I felt this one, there was a little bit of seam movement for the seamers, um, but also it held up a little bit. So when you got something to score, it wasn't the easiest. Uh, hence, you could look at the, 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 the strike rates today, it was a little bit slower than normal at a Wanderers. At Wanderers. So it was quite a difficult decision whether to bat or bowl, or that's it? I think they were looking at the cracks um, and, and looking at today it was a very good decision. You know, we knew the first little bit with the new ball was going to be challenging. It was, it was going to move around a little bit. Um, but there was definite cracks. And uh, if you look at the wicket behaved on day one, there's a lot happening on it for day one. So that's good signs for us. You know, lucky we don't have to bat last on that. But speaking of the cracks, um, are they playing a role? You seem to get one from Ajmal that just took off um, that yeah, I, th I think there was actually a couple more than that. You know, I, uh, my dismissal was one that stayed low, but um, there was a few in my innings that I felt stayed a little bit low, and obviously the one of Ajmal bounced and uh, sconed me a bit. Um, but there's, there's, there's something happening, and, and because it's day one, it means that it will just get worse, hopefully. Fine. The, um, you're the world number one at the moment, and do you think 253 on that pitch is... Uh, uh, I think take the ranking aside from it uh, to position what we were in at I think 200 for four or something like that. We should have got more runs. Um, definitely, you know, myself and AB had a good partnership going, and I think we, you know, I don't know exactly how much runs we got for the last six wickets, um, but it it wasn't enough runs, you know, from that bottom six. Uh, but also, like I said, it is quite tough coming in. You know, one thing the the Pakistanis do very well is they they've got great spinners. You know, so if you come in and you've got Ajmal bowling at you and he's spinning it both ways, it's quite tough. Um, so I think it's very important for, especially you know, for the rest of the series. Even uh, when we do get an opportunity with a partnership, we're going to make sure we take it deeper you now because it's tough for the new guys coming in. Yeah, I think they, I thought they bowled really well. Um, they had a lot of assistance from the wicket. Uh, I think personally, if we bowled, we would have probably bowled a little bit uh, different lengths. Uh, I think on this wicket, you need to be a little bit fuller with a new ball. Um, it's it's nice at Wanderers. You always look and see there's nice carry, um, but I think the the key is to be a bowl a little bit fuller. You know, if if the ball moves, that it has, hasn't got enough time to to miss the bat. You know, so that you can nick it. How much better are these guys than New Zealand? Look, they, uh, from a batting point of view, they, they've got a lot of variation. Um, so you, you never feel like one guy's coming on, this is the guy to attack. Um, and I suppose that's why they, they're successful with their spinners. You know, if, if the seamers don't get wickets, they've got the option to bring the spin on. One, to take wickets, or if they also, if they, don't, if they just need to bring the run rate down, they can also do that. So they're very, they're very, very good batting attack. Well, there's some element of surprise, you know, that, that um, bowling chains when they brought Eunice Khan on. Uh, I'm not sure exactly why. My, if, if I had to guess, I would think that it's probably just brought Eunice on for someone to change ends. Um, but obviously that worked for them to get the, the big scalp of Ash. And, and uh, I think with uh, Fees with the new ball, you know, you could see he's a tricky bowler. He skids the ball on. So that was probably the idea, um, to skid the ball on to the left handers and try and get an LBW. Um, but it was a surprise for me. I thought they will go with two, two seam bowlers with a new ball because that's just what... Uh, as the South Africans are used to seeing. Right, thank you very much. Thank you. Could you just ask uh, on Graham and his, and his 100 um, test? We are quite a new person to the team. Did you have known Graham for a long time? Just your impression of the man and the impressions of today? Yeah, first of all, you know, I remember when I walked into the team for about two or three years ago, Graham was the guy from the senior player, from a senior player's point of view, that made me feel most comfortable. And as a captain, that's even a better, you know, tool to his trade, as you can say. Uh, he's a very humble guy, um, and he always puts the team first, which is for me, I look up to him a lot. Um, and us in the team, we aspire to be like him. You know, if I, 
you know, he's, he's such a great leader. And with me especially starting now, you know, with a couple of, uh, with the one days in the 2020, starting off with leadership, um, it's just great to have Graham in the team because you can sort of learn so much from him as a person and as the way he plays his cricket. So, as a new leader yourself at international level, what do you think his characteristic is as a leader? Yeah, his presence. Eh? Presence, uh, when he opens his mouth, you, you just listen. Cool, thank you. But, um, no, I'm done. Thanks, Alison. Um, a, a, a lot of the guys have stopped. Everyone got into double figures and, and then got up. Do, do you think maybe just in terms of the mental focus, um, it maybe wasn't quite there today with all the hype around Graham and, and obviously the, the mood surrounding the test? I don't think so. I think the first thing Graham made very, very he made a very serious point that this day was not about him. It's we need to focus on our goals. Um, for me, what it shows all the starts is that there's always something in the wicket, that it doesn't get flat. Uh, so you can't just, when you get to 30, go on and score big runs. And I also thought we've had a, I mean, an unlucky dismissal of Dean caught down leg. And, you know, myself, those dismissals doesn't happen a lot. Um, but that's part of the game. Um, but, but like I said before, we definitely want to do, we were looking at about 320, 350. Um, and myself and Abby was batting. Um, but it is there's enough in the wicket. So tomorrow, if we come back and we bowl in the right areas, we should we should get the results. Would you say 320 to 350 was probably off? I would say 320 was par. 350 would have been a very very good score. Um, you know, when when we got out, we said if we can get to 300, it'll be a very good score. But yeah, 320. You know, looking at it this morning, it, it looked 300 looked a long way away when the ball was moving around. But we got ourselves into just a position to get close to 300. Um, and obviously disappointed we only got 250 but uh, at least there's something in the wicket for the bowlers Thank you very much. thanks guys mm -hmm.